Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, September 9th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got Monday night football, four MLB games coming your way. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are, what your Monday night football picks are, what opening lines you like for this upcoming week, college football, NFL, Major League Baseball, all is welcome, guys. It helps out the algorithm below. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. We got first game up 5, 20 p.m. Pacific. Monday night football, New York Jets, San Francisco 49ers. Niners, minus four-point home favorites, 43 and a hook being the total. Jets come in. Interesting matchup, actually. But the Jets first up here, guys, top five defense each of the last two seasons. They got Aaron Rodgers, just played four plays last year. Future Hall of Fame quarterback. I'm going to look to be betting on the Jets more so than look to fade them right out the stretch. As long as Rodgers is behind center, I think he can have some success. Plus the fact in this matchup, he's 36 and 24 against the spread as an underdog. So when he's catching points, he's 12 games over 500. And he's got that top five defense each of the last two seasons on the other side of things. Actually, last year, this Jets defense allowed just 4.6 yards per play. That ties for first in the NFL. Now, downsides of the Jets side of things, as Jets fans know, 13-year playoff skid, and they haven't had a winning season since 2015. So there are some downsides, but I think this is a buy-low opportunity, guys. They're up against the Niners here, Super Bowl losers last season. Now, they got three straight NFC Championship games under their belt, but usually, historically, the Super Bowl loser, that's not necessarily a bet-on situation the following year. They're also on a one in five against the spread run to end last season. So kind of tells me the market was catching up with them in terms of, uh, hey, they were money burners down the stretch. We also need to talk about the news this offseason. Wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, all pro left tackle Trent Williams. You know, they missed the entire preseason. So are they going to be ready to go? And then the unfortunate situation just last week. I mean, Ricky Purcell, the former first rounder out of Florida, uh, it sounds like, you know, so with the 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 crime situation in San Francisco, somebody tried to steal his Rolex. He ends up getting shot. I mean, uh, it, it looks like he's going to be OK, but just a terrible situation and it, like that not to be on the offense um, as a handicap. For, it, it's not a positive in my in my view for the 49ers side of things. So, look, guys, overall, I do think it's a buy low opportunity on the Jets plus four. That's the way I'm playing it. Sprinkle a little bit on the money line. Monday night football, first one up for the season. Jets plus four as the dog is barking. Flipping the script to the mon to the MLB, Monday night MLB here. Heading to the Diamonds, 640 Eastern, 340 Pacific. Miami Marlins, Pittsburgh Pirates. Bottom of the barrel matchup, both at the bottom of their respected divisions. It's Victor Belozo going for the fish, Paul Skeens for the Pirates. No line out just yet as I'm going over the overnight Sunday night market. But actually, guys, I'm not going after this from a side or a, to or a totals perspective. I'm going at it from a, a props perspective. We get Skeens on the hill, and I'm going after his strikeout prop here. I was looking to fade on the fish starter Belozo, the 24-year-old Mexican-born pitcher, 33 to 17 strikeout to walk ratio. With a four five a five five fifth, excuse me, that's not going to cut it in MLB. So I'm looking to go against him. He's also given up three plus home runs in two of the last three starts. But I I, I just know with Skeens on the hill, we're going to have to lay a, a a pretty sizable favorite price. And with the Pirates bullpen and lineup, I don't want to do that. So instead, the Miami Marlins lineup is a top five strikeout lineup near 30% since the turn of September. And they're up against Skeens, a guy throwing 100 miles an hour, number one pick out of LSU, 9-2 and two on the season, 2-1 ERA, 142 to 30 strikeout to walk ratio. I think he's going to rack up the strikeouts in this matchup, guys. He's also kind of the, the unique situation. He's off of back-to-back -back starts against the Cubs, which, by the way, he started his MLB career back-to-back -back against the Cubs. So he's already seen that Cubs lineup four times, and he's still got six strikeouts each of the last two times facing him. Now he's going up against the Marlins lineup that hasn't seen him and strikes out a lot. 
I, if I'm I, I'm projecting out here that we get a six and a hook as a strikeout prop, maybe a seven. I like it there at seven and a half. I'd start to pump the brakes. But let's go Paul Skeens over his strikeout prop. It's likely going to be six and a half or seven. But uh, yeah, that's the way we're going to start it, guys. If it's seven and a half or higher, we're going to hold off on it. But uh, seven or lower, up and over for Paul Skeens strikeouts to start us off on the diamond. Next one up, 705 Eastern. Heading to New York. Yankees Stadium is the Kansas City Royals at the New York Yankees. Carlos Rodon on the hill for the Bronx Bombers. Brady Singer going for the Royals. Eight and a hook being the total, minus 175. That's the Yanks as the home favorite. 22 games over 500 in first place in the AL East. Tight race here down the stretch. They won three of four against Kansas City in Kansas City in June and actually outscored the Kansas City Royals 28 to 12 in the series. So they really dominated them there. And the Royals, they're having a good season themselves, 13 games over 500. they They've won four straight. They're pitching wise. They've only let up three runs their last four games against the Twins. So that's promising. The problem is they got Singer on the hill, the 28 year old out of Florida. His numbers overall, 335 ERA for the season is solid, but his past performance against the Yankees, he let up seven runs in just five and two thirds last time seeing him just a, a, what, a little over a month ago. So that, that's a terrible past performance. And we get Carlos Rodon going for the Yankees, the 31 year old first rounder out of NC state, six innings, one earned run, 11 strikeouts last time out against the Rangers. And he also saw Kansas City in that same series we spoke about with Singer. He went seven innings, one earned run. So great pass performance there. We got to add in the fact the Yankees, the number one lineup overall, number one against righties, whereas Kansas City just kind of middle of the pack, handing us a pitcher and overall. So overall, guys, uh, a lot of overalls here. Don't like the Yankees minus 175. It's just too much uh, juice. Uh, It's not really how I bet baseball. But instead, going to go on the Yankees as the home team. Minus the one run line instead of the one and a half with the home team. You can split the bet if your sport doesn't offer it. But let's go Yankees minus one over the Royals. Next one up, 7, 10 Eastern time. It's the Baltimore Orioles in the Boston Red Sox. Pavich on the hill for the O's. Brian Bayo going for the Red Sox. Red Sox minus 120 home favorites. Nine and being the total. Orioles 20 games over 500, just one game back of the Yankees. It's going to be a tight race, a fun one to watch. They're the second best record in the American League. So the team that wins that is going to get the bye in the playoffs. The other one's going to have to play in the wild card round. So some important games for both the Yankees and the Orioles. Not that it's not an important game for the Red Sox, two games over 500, but for the Orioles and the Yankees, I I got both of these two teams circled as bet on right now. Now, speaking to this matchup in particular, The Orioles, 11 games over 500 on the road. They've been road warriors. Pavich, the 24-year-old out of Nebraska, seven and a third innings, zero earned, 10 strikeouts his last time out. Now, granted, it was against the White Sox, but even the last time against the Red Sox, six and a third, two earned, six strikeouts, zero walks. That's great pass performance. He's up against Bayo here. The Red Sox have lost two of the last three times Bayo has taken the hill. The 25-year-old Dominican-born pitcher with a 4.75 ERA, four earned runs in five innings last time out. Not great against the Mets. He really hasn't been the same pitcher all season that we've come to know the last couple years. Overall, guys, we get the Baltimore Orioles lineup, number two overall by weighted runs created plus, number three against righties. Hey, we get them plus 105, risk 100 to win 105. I think the Orioles are... uh, this is this is wrong team favored, guys. I like the Orioles plus price here. Pavich as the starter. Got one game left. You let me know in the comments below. It helps out the algorithm, guys. Your MLB picks. Anything is welcome. I know I'm uh, working through a cold here, but going strong, getting the picks out to you. So, uh, yeah, guys, smash that like button if you're liking the content. And premium picks up and available. Wagertalk.com, 4 percenter for Monday in MLB. We got 740 Eastern. LA Angels, Minnesota Twins. David Festa versus Reed Detmers, the pitching matchup. The lefty Detmers going for the Halos. Eight and a hook being the total. Minnesota heavy favorites here, minus 185. Angels come in just 59 wins on the season. 
They are on a pretty interesting under run. 10 of uh, 10 and 15 to the under their last 25. They got Detmers on the hill. He's an inter- a unique handicap here, guys. First start back off the IL, a 90-day stint on the IL. He went six innings, three hits, 10 to two strikeout to walk ratio against a very good Dodgers lineup. That's something I'm looking to bet on. And he's up against David Festa. If you've been watching the show, we've been we've been betting on Festa a bunch since the 4th of July. He's actually a pitcher that got going this season. His first two times out, he got hit around. But since the 4th of July, seven starts, three flat ERA, three flat FIP, 50 to 12 strikeout to walk ratio. No more than three earned runs given up in any start. I actually like both of these two starters to have a, a decent starts if not better than decent starts particularly considering both of these lineups over the last two weeks are bottom five in mlb by weighted runs created plus they've been quite quiet and they're up against two good starting pitchers at least in my books twins four straight unders we talked about the angels kind of under trend here eight and a hook a sizable total hey i go under here guys the last game we're talking eight and a half angels and twins under eight and a half in recap we got the baltimore orioles plus 105 with the dog barking there in fenway park we got the yankees minus one over the royals we're on the paul skeen strikeout prop to the over at seven or less and in monday night football we are on the jets plus four over the san francisco 49ers so guys Please excuse the voice uh, working through a cold, but uh, hey, it's not stopping Drew's Daily Diamonds for uh, Monday, September 9th. We'll be back on Tuesday as well. So thanks for tuning in. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets.